Hello, and welcome to Tinker Tailor Solder Fry, the Let's Try program here on the Mighty Loading Ready Live Video Entertainment Network. My name is Ian Horner. Joining me today, we have TQ. Hi. She's here to show us what goes down when one wants to paint one's nails or paint the nails of someone else. Ooh. And today, Hello. we've got a, a group of people who are willing to get their nails done, and we're going to start off with Cam. So, Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I haven't had my nails done for a long time. This is I, very exciting. Have you ever done them professionally? Uh, no, I've had many friends who have done them for me. Mm. This is the first time I've ever had this. Mm. Yeah, it's um, your hands are in uh, boiled water that is not boiling <laughs> now. The water um, has been boiled previously. With uh, it's basic basic Epsom salts and uh, baby oil mm. to soften mm. them a little bit. But we're we're not going to soak them for like. Super long. That's why I had you put them in just before. Just before, um, because you can actually probably pull them out now and you can okay. dry them off. Um, one reason is to soften. One reason is to clean. Okay. So just dab to get them dry. I hate you all so I, much. Okay, that was not part of this deal. I'm, you what? just they just dabbed. <laughs> oh shit! Did you, did you both do it? No. Well, he was drawing, and this one dabbed, and that one dabbed. Yeah. What? Yeah. You dabbed? Yeah. For for reference as well, I'm not just going to be sitting here staring at a laptop. I will be uh, putting together, spending the rest of my day finishing up All right. this tomfoolery. All right. So those will probably become lukewarm and need to be replaced, but that okay. is fine. So we're going to use that just to keep it. Did you pick a color? Um, or decide what you wanted to do. I kind of, well, I, I had some options. I really do like this one. You like that one? Okay. It it's just a little dry, dry. I so like we'll the, see. I like the, the silver as well. Okay. And I also like this one because okay. it kind of matches my shoes. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's pretty, pretty close. Pretty close, but pretty I'm not close. sure it's me sans shoes. Mm. Um, also, this midnight blue is really nice. That's what's on Ben right now. Oh, mm -hmm. really? I had always assumed it was black. But no, no, yeah, no, yeah. it's it's and check the check the number on it. Four. T <laughs> smoke, 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 smoke. <laughs> That's highly compelling. Wow. <laughs> um, the other one I was looking at is this is this gray. Okay, so the gray. I'm pretty sure. Ugh. Always shake your nail polish unless it says don't shake. Read the bottle. I'm pretty sure this will dry. If I do, yeah, if I so if I do two layers, it will come out okay. that gray. So if you mm. like that, it does come I'm out. Curious now, like what what will look good? My aesthetic is, you know, clearly like black. Um but I think I like the silver. So you can do like um because this one is a a glitter coat, mm -hmm. so it's not gonna be yeah. Ooh. See how it comes through trying to transparent? Okay, right. So if we, oh. you could do like. Yeah, that would be perfect. That under this. Okay, we'll do that then. Okay. Uh, keep in mind, glitter, super hard to get off your nails. So mm. I never recommend doing just glitter. I do <laughs> a coat below it. Julie has I cautioned me about this. Okay, I'm just so pushing your cuticle back so if I. I'm not going to hurt you or anything, but... No, no worries. So what's the base procedure here, TQ? Um, so essentially what you want to do is soften the cuticle, which is why I had his hands in the, the water. Mm -hmm. um, I am not a fan of cutting cuticle because that's where your bacteria can grow. Mm -hmm. And as we know... You hear a lot of horror stories. Actually, you guys might not. You hear a lot of no. horror stories about it. <laughs> this is brand new to me. First, bacteria. Okay, that's a, that's a, the first start. You uh, you can grow a lot of bacteria in your cuticle area. That's why biting your nails is so bad. Is that the good bacteria or the bad so bacteria? You can get bad bacteria okay. in there. So I don't I don't like cutting them because that's basically where your nail bed is growing out of. So this mm -hmm. is like your protective layer. Okay. Um, so I don't cut my cuticles. I try to leave them alone as much as possible, and then I just slightly push them back to be able to like have the polish like as much nail as possible All right. um, and then wash your hands uh, and if you don't want to soak them that's fine you don't have to but always wash your hands mm -hmm. what's what, what is the soaking for um, the soaking is to make the cuticle softer okay. and it makes your hands soft too because um, a lot of the times you'll go in and it's like a spa treatment 
So you'll get like hand massage and stuff after. Like I'm gonna, once I'm done and they're dry, I'm gonna lotion up your hands. Okay. Mm. So. Rad. Everything's gonna be nice and soft. Nice and mm. soft and beautiful. Now I don't promise these look great, but. <laughs> well, I'm out. <laughs> we're gonna do our best. That is, that is the agenda here. I make no promises because I can't keep, I don't break promises. So. So there was a question that was asked off air before we started by Mucam, and you were wondering if there was any prep that needed to happen before you. Uh... Yeah, like uh, when I paint miniatures, mm -hmm. right? You you soak the plastic. Yeah, soak it, sand it. Yeah, sand sand down any kind of like um, forge lines. Mm -hmm. um, do we need to and cut then off you this, prime coat? Do we need to cut off the sprues so, on your, uh, yeah. on your fingers? <laughs> you can do a base coat um, on nails. I don't. I don't okay. think it's necessary. Um, but if you wanted to do a base coat, it tends to help the polish stay longer and mm. protect the nails. Um, but generally speaking, a lot of nail polish that's high quality these days will have the base coat built in. Okay. So you don't need to do that. I um, like this already. Cool technology. <laughs> um. You can also file your nails, but Cam's nails are pretty nice, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I was ask a question. Oh, yeah. What, um... So nail polish, is it like an enamel? Is it an acrylic? Is it something entirely different? It's like, so it depends on the brand that you buy. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as I know, it's basically just like an acrylic paint that is diluted with something. Okay. But Yeah, because I can feel it being... No, quite... you'll, no nail polish. Okay, so this is something that's super weird. Almost no nail polishes have ingredients. This is an example of one that does. Oh. So... Oh, ethyl acetate. <laughs> okay, cool. Butyl yeah. acetate, right? Intracellulose. I don't know what these words mean. Cam does. I just uh, put pretty colors on people. Yeah, <laughs> that, that acetates are, um, uh, they are... The good nail polishes will have ingredients yeah, on them. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty benign. But they do have to be like gentle because your your nail is hair, right? So yeah. you have to remember that. It's like that's why when um we do like removing, I'll explain that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. but, oh, we're gonna remove stuff today too as well. Yes, uh, Ben has nail polish on right now. Right, so we need to take it off. So he's got to take it off. But I figured we'll we'll show you as well. Is there anything wrong with just just layering them? Um, nope, you can layer. I mean, that's kind of the point of doing like the glitter on top of solid color, but um, if you layer too many times, it's like paint on the wall. It's just gonna end up being thick and gross. Plus, you should let your nails breathe just like you let your hair breathe when you dye it. You don't bleach it three times and then color it. <laughs> you bleach it once and then, well, some people do. Some people are monsters and just want to watch the world burn. Yeah. And their and and their hair. Yeah, chemical yeah. burns. Chemical yeah. burn. Hey, I did not know that the stuff used in a perm to chemically straighten hair first is just um, lye. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. It's well. Sodium hydroxide. I don't know what any of these words mean. Sodium hydroxide would be like in high school chemistry. That would be the base that you would use in acid base reactions it's really common it's readily available NaOH you put that uh, put that uh, ND filter one back on please put back no, no, number 1 that is number 1 it's okay now you want number 2 mm. no that's no that's too much yeah that's what i thought okay i thought we had that turned off also, I apologize for my poor nails right now. Mm. I just had my caps removed, so... Caps? Um, yeah, so when you go to a salon mm. and you're someone like me who bites your nails because you're a horrible mm. person and you want to watch the world burn, um, you get your nails filed, and by filed I mean like... Like, see how it's all right. torn apart? Like. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they take like a little drill and they like... Sorry, drill? They like Dremel it, like. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just right off the end. Yeah. So that that way it's um it holds the fake nail and huh. the gel on top. Oh, 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 okay. So it makes a rough surface. Exactly. Right. Um, but it's it's super actually not great for your nails. <laughs> I believe that. It makes them really weak. Um, but I already have weak nails, so it keeps me from biting them and makes them look pretty because. Mine, uh, mine, like, just rip. They're horrible. Boys, it ain't me. Caps, caps, caps. One of the re wow. Rip vines. 
Yeah. I miss Vine so much. Yeah. We, a lot of people miss Vine. <laughs> I miss it so much. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. the boyfriend that left me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the boyfriend that was taken. Yeah, really? Yeah. You're like, is there a ransom? Can I pay it? Yeah. All right, I'm going to let those right. dry for a second. So, should, should I cycle out now? No, nope, because we're going to do another coat on this and oh, like okay. very quickly. Um, we're going to do at least two to three coats. Okay. And then um, we'll do the glitter and then you have to have a top coat as well. Okay. So. Sounds reasonable. We'll probably let you sit to dry before the top coat. Okay. And we'll start removing bends, but. So for the rest of you, or not for the rest of you, but for an uh, update on what's going on here, I've been, uh, last we tricked in with the Dreamcast, the soldering job on the back had been finished. We'd managed to get it to boot up off of the SD card. And now it's a case of, uh, will we get, we've got the SATA adapter for the drive. I've prepared a clean, fully cleaned drive. And uh, hopefully we're going to get it uh, booting up off the drive, and maybe once we get that done, we'll try ripping a disc onto it and see how that works. Anything I can be doing to make, you, to make this easier for you? Nope, you being still is perfect. All right. <laughs> so again, another question that got asked off air that I'm sure people There's might be asking. On the... Oh, thank you. Uh, Ventilation. Do we need, like, I'm smelling chemicals here. Do we need to ventilate this at all? It is up to the person. They don't bother me. The only thing that bothers me is the remover, which is uh -huh. why Ben's going to remove, like, one to two nails here and then leave the fuck out of here. <laughs> I think what you may be smelling is the baby oil, which no. is quite fragrant. Mm -hmm. No, no, no it's, yeah, this oh, okay. is, it's definitely this, oh, okay. yeah. It's it definitely a, uh, a solvent that I'm smelling. If it, if it bothers people, yes, ventilate, but I don't, I don't, That's it doesn't bother not me. Not enough to bother me. But uh, yeah, you um, you wouldn't like be in a salon without ventilation. <laughs> <laughs> Very enclosed space. Okay, let's attempt to see if this will even recognize a drive. The gray on you is a good choice. Thank you. Well, yes, thank you again. <laughs> That's why we brought in a professional. Mm -hmm. And by professional, I mean just someone who knows what they're doing. Or are you a professional? I didn't. So you offered to be on this program, did you? <laughs> And uh, yeah, what, what, what's your background with painting nails? Uh, no, I'm not a professional. I was never trained. Okay. I just really like it. And I did go to um, a type of medical school. So like I know like where the boundaries are on what's safe for touching skin and cutting skin and not. So. Nice. And then I decided that um, I don't like medical school and I want to just draw. So hence nail art. Solid. Seems like a good intersection. Yeah. Okay, so that seems to be the Dreamcast boots. So that's a good thing. And what does it boot into? A tip on there that I don't. Nothing. Nothing is happening. Okay, cool. Let's add a. Oh, that's right, because I need a, to add a. Uh, a boot disc of some sort. Did I bring my boot discs with me? I did. Dream Shell 4.0. Try that again. You don't chew your nails, do you? I used to. That's why I keep them so short now. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say, don't chew your nails mm. when the nail polish is on them. Yeah, yeah, I could <sighs> see that not going well. Probably Perfect. lots of things in the pigments that aren't terribly good yeah, for Yeah, I wouldn't need it. Nope. Hey, Dream Shell's working. Hooray. Mm -hmm. Let's set that clock. We don't have to keep doing this. Thankfully, the Dreamcast will hold a charge on the battery just long enough for you to forget that you need to replace the battery. Hmm. All right. Today is 11-27-1998. Ian's not helping with the bumping. Oof. <laughs> yeah, ding dong. <laughs> I'll attempt to avoid touching the table at all costs. Wow, what a great word. Ding dong? Ding dong. It is a good word. Technically, it's two words. Mm. Touche. Uh, hyphenated, maybe? Like ho ho? Or Joss Lewis? It's for all you, you French speakers out there. Mm. 
Oh boy. I'm gonna have to Google that, then I'm gonna get angry. <laughs> No, it's, it's, so th th there is a snack cake within the... Yeah, Joe Louis. Yeah. yeah. Joe jo Louis, I believe, was what was, I, I thought it was supposed to be pronounced as, or afterwards thought. There, there was, there was some discussion in the chat after I believe uh, Ben brought it up on one of the episodes of Live and called it the Joss Lewis. Did you, Kay. did you or I touch that one? So I'm, I, I was uh, never sure. Really. I always thought it was Joss Lewis too, which was why I was like, oh, apparently it's not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I always thought it was. Uh, yeah, Joss Lewis, Joss right? Joss Lewis. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I eat, you eat them like a total of three times in your life, maybe. <laughs> and it's generally whenever you're passing by like a trucker bat. Like, yeah. Yeah. Stop. The Joss Lewis, the uh, the passion favorite. flaky. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? What? Can you take these? Mm -hmm. Go dump them, okay. and go refill them with um, the water that's in the kettle, but like make it hot first, tops. I'll make it. Yay! Don't boil your fingers. It's not part of what we're doing today. <laughs> not today. Okay, so we know okay. the dream shell. So far, works. I really like this. I'm glad. Yeah, they look good. And then like you want, you still want the top glitter coat, or do you I, want it on like one or two? Or I think I like the top glitter coat. Okay. Still. Okay. We can always do one, and then if you don't like it, we can like. Okay. Remove and all that I good mean, stuff. My opinion on my nails is kind of like my opinion on my hair. If I don't like it, I'll make more of them. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Like, as in, like, grow more yeah. down your arm. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll just like. like okay. We'll yeah. just eject these ones yeah. and then. Fresh Isn't that ones your will goal to make them into blades? Yeah. Isn't that what you yeah. said? Yeah. Basically, I want it to be like. If you've ever read Neuromancer, there's a character named Molly. And her fingernail is extending to razor blades. She's a straight samurai. Yeah, those are need a minute to dry. <laughs> and she's the only person in that book who's good at anything. <laughs> That's fair. Hmm. All right, what else can I inform you guys of while those are drying? I don't think that there's much else to know, other than like, your. I don't think a lot of people realize like how delicate your nails are, hmm. and like the skin around them. Because like, have you? Again, none of you probably have, but... Um, <laughs> there, there's a certain amount of, uh, of assumption of knowledge here that I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying. Um, you know how the... Well, you know that the skin around your eyes is very delicate. And yes. that's why they're always like, don't pull your eye down when you're putting makeup on mm. and put like cream on at night and stuff like that. And... Um, it's the same with the cuticle area around your nails. So like, mm -hmm. um, something that's really good to do to your nails for just nail health is take a toothbrush mm -hmm. and surprisingly toothpaste and very lightly brush your nails um, and then put harden like hardening on them. You can buy these, um, I don't have any with me, but they look like top coats and they're nail hardener. Okay. So if you have like weak nails or whatever, mm -hmm. you can do that. Out of curiosity, what is a French manicure? French manicure, it, that's the type of where the nail bed sits. Mm -hmm. So you ever see the ones with the white tip? Mm -hmm. That's a French manicure. Okay. So they will do it specifically with a, a style. Like, yeah. I'll show you. Because those are drying anyway. Hmm. Hopefully we can get that up on the screen as well. See? Oh, okay. Okay. So, I don't know if I can see that. Oh, yeah, if you, if you point it towards the, the beach. The beach? Yeah, he'll be able to zoom in on that. In a second. Uh, no, that's the max I can zoom in, which is not yeah, enough to show it off. No, but you can see it. Are you focused, though? <laughs> there we oh, go. Oh, yeah. Perfectly, yeah. Perfectly so that's what a, a French manicure is, is when the tips are white like that. Okay. I thought it was something a little bit more yeah, special. Nope. nope. That's all it means. It's very clean looking. That's all it means. You can do it on your toes, too, if you wanted. Mm -hmm. I've seen it done. It creeps me out. Fancy. Wait, on people's toes? Yep. Creeps me the F right out. Yeah, because they're quite long. Yep. That, yep. Oh. Mm hmm Nope. No. Nope. No. Yeah, the less people look at my toes, the better. Mm. <laughs> Damn, you are one classy motherfucker. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh my god. 
Yeah. That looks solid. <laughs> we can go to like some sort of symphony after this. Put on a glitter gown or like a black mm. gown with shimmer neckline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think I might. <laughs> I'm feeling like 10% more cyborg right now. Right? And if you want to do your friend's nails, um, if you notice how I'm holding the nails, I have my fingers underneath and then I'm putting my pinky for balance. Mm. So don't nice. just like do this because you will, you will F up. Mm. Pretty bad. That's a good technique. Pretty bad. And the less strokes you can do it in, the better. And no, it's not a sex joke. Right. But I imagine, like with painting anything else, it's drying as it's going yep, on. So exactly. the more brush strokes you put into it, the goopier it's getting. And exactly. And... Exactamundo. And unlike the base color, we are not going to do multiple coats of the glitter hmm. because glitter is extremely hard to get off. And uh, it doesn't need it because the reason you do coats of color is to get more color pigment, right? right. So more, more opaque. Mm -hmm. So unless you wanted full glitter, but I like it like this better. Hey, TQ. Yeah. Uh, question from the chat. How hard is it to get nail polish off skin? Off skin, not very hard. Um, but one of the biggest mistakes is just letting it dry. It's best if you, if you just saw what I did. Um, I took my end of my brush and I took off the paint before it's set on his skin um, just because it's like it's like anything you want you spill something on your clothes you just wash it right away right mm -hmm. rather than letting it set but uh, it's not hard you can use nail polish or remover though it's not great for it but I have alternatives for it so Which I, I will explain later the um, when painting miniatures usually you water down your paints mm -hmm. in order that you do like many many thin coats but I guess that isn't an option with nail polish remover because you need the coverage Correct. The only time you would ever do that to your fingers, mm -hmm. you didn't touch that, did you? No. no. Okay, good. Um, so those are going to take a second to dry. Glitter okay. does take longer to dry, mm -hmm. so just let them sit. Um, and then I will take off one of Ben's and explain alternatives to taking off your nail polish. Mm -hmm. But um, what was I saying? Don't let it dry your skin. Don't let it dry on your skin. skin. Mm. And watering down. Watering down. The only thinning. reason you would do that is if you have one that is like, where is that? This one. So after a while, they start to get a little goopy. Mm. And they'll see how that pulled. Mm. Like it's got mm. that weird string yeah, that came from it. So they shouldn't do that. Um, so if they start to dry, you can put a little, little, little bit of nail polish remover into mm. them and mm. shake them up, and that'll loosen them up again. But you could, you should only do that like maybe two times otherwise right. you're just you have no nail polish left mm -hmm. but yeah so okay. you're good to go dry all right don't touch anything can you help him de -mic? oh yeah I could, Ooh, yeah, we'll somebody, need to. Help yeah. yeah I somebody I handle cam I mean, I'm taking over, so. squire attend to me <laughs> <laughs> ready sir just hold yeah. your, hold your glitter up <laughs> yeah you figure it out <laughs> is it up here yep <laughs> Is it my turn? Mm-hmm. Get rid of the beautiful job that was done. Mm-hmm. Bye, chat. I'll be back later. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? What's going on, chat? How you doing? All right, I need... Actually, can I you... I should take my ring off. Can you grab the nail polish remover and the pads? Yeah. Thank you. You're going to show this off, and then you're going to make me leave. Because yep. you hate the smell of it. Because I hate the smell of it. <laughs> actually, you'll all hate the smell of it. Wait until Ooh, it gets opened. I'm excited for Let's, this. We could see how long we can go before someone yells about it. All right, so to take nail polish off, there are a couple ways to do this. Um, the most effective, obviously, is nail polish remover. You can get like all different kinds, scented, non-scented. You can get um, acetone, non-acetone. I recommend non-acetone. It's not good for your nails to, to put that on too many times. Um, and then you'll want to get just little, little makeup removing pads. Um, try to get ones that are thick. So if you see the stitch coat on the outside, that means that they're better for it. Why is because you don't want them to tear while you're taking it off. 
um, just because you don't want to like have any particles go under your cuticles and things like that. So this is better. Um, these ones have exfoliating textures in them, which are just better for getting nail polish off in general. Um, if you don't like this, all that. I mean, that smells like chemical. Uh huh. So if that's too much for you, so, I can't even touch it. You're supposed it. to do like that. No, I can't even touch yes, it. Not I that. Can't. <laughs> Ben's going to touch it because I can't touch it because I hate the smell of it. Oh. Um, and then he's going to gently, the goal is to take the pad and gently wipe from your cuticle away from your cuticle. Never wipe towards your cuticle because then you're wiping the paint that's coming off under and possibly causing infection. Um, so never ever wipe towards. You can also go side to side, but generally speaking, your nails grow out, so it's like going against the grain, so it's best to just do multiples of one way rather than... You can already see that it's coming off. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's fast. Yep, mm -hmm. and if you're somebody who has like a really dark color on like Ben does, you could leave it there for a couple seconds and then start wiping because that soaks through the paint. Um, because I did like, what, two or three coats on you with that? Something like that, yeah. yeah probably like two. This, I mean, the one that, this one... Um, seemed uh to you want you want one that's not really wet or sorry too dry mm -hmm. i mean the last ones were probably a pain to take off yes this yeah one because really the last colors we used the black and the red were drying colors like they were really goopy and they were not nice to play with no. but um you can also remove nail polish with other nail polish or top coat so it's kind of like you it's know when you you know when you draw you draw on a white eraser board with an actual regular marker. Regular mm -hmm. marker, exactly. So it's the same thing. Um, you can use top coat, but it, I find it's a waste because top coat's expensive. For those of you who don't know, by the way, this is a trick that I learned when I was uh, working in Japan with uh, kids. We'd have whiteboards that we teach them to do things, and they'd get a hold of the permanent marker, yeah. and they draw on the whiteboard, and yeah. like, oh, okay, that that whiteboard's ruined. No, no. <laughs> you can use. The white eraser yeah, you marker. Just, you just write over top of it, and it just pulls everything off the whiteboard. Oh, really? Yep. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, they've got a powerful solvent in them. Man, yep. I'm learning things today. So it's the same thing with nail polish. You can take a nail polish that you don't like, or you bought and you changed your mind about it, and you can use that to remove nail polish. Though it's like probably my my third preference for doing it, just because you're wasting nail polish. Um, but you can do it with top coat with nail polish. It takes longer than nail polish remover. I'm going to put this on while you're mm -hmm. just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bat Wool is asking what brand are you using for, uh, or rather, what brand was Ben currently wearing? Um, and then what will you use on him next? He was using Rimmel last time, Rimmel London, which he loved because it, the number the number for this color is 420. Da, 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 da. Like, can you see that? <laughs> Probably not. The Rimmel 420. Yeah, you can. Midnight blue, 420. <laughs> so yeah, that's no. that's one. That's one type. You should definitely be wiping these um, rather than dabbing. I right? don't know. You can dab if you want. I can, can I watch my MTV. Yes. <laughs> Good. Yes. Uh huh. Um. But there's like a bazillion brands here. Um, I have cheap ones and I have expensive ones. So Rimmel is a little bit more expensive. And then I have like, so I brought two that I really love and I don't know who's going to do them if anyone. This one chroma keys out on green screen. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah. And this one glows in the dark. That's also cool. So it's not a high color. Like you're not going to, What it's does not the glow in the bright. dark one actually look like? I'd be interested in, like, so I don't, so I don't like any of the neon colors. So Those. it doesn't actually look what, look what happens to it. You don't actually even see it. Oh. So you could either use it as a top coat over red or something. Secret nails. But yeah, look, it's like nothing. Interesting. Okay. Kind of light orange. It would look really good over top of this actually. This is a cheap one, though. Pink has got to be the worst color. All right. You know? Rude. <laughs> no, it's it's just like, it's not even a like, Ugh, pink is like a girly thing, I say, as I'm taking nail polish off my pens. But it's like, it's more of a like, I just genuinely don't like the color. That's fair. I love pink. Yeah. I guess we can't be friends. Let's anymore. make it pink. <laughs> Do it. Oh yeah, okay, so the other thing I was gonna tell you guys while Ben's removing is you can totally use acrylic paint to draw really neat little designs on nails. 
Um, if you don't want to use nail polish or you don't have the color you want or you can't find a color bright enough, like I can, I can never find nail polish that's the right shades of like greens and pinks, but never do it on bare nail. Because if you do it on bare nail, that's like putting acrylic paint in your hair, which I have done and it's stupid. Why? What happens? I have a very important comment from Dandy Geek. Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. Oh, Since no. I had a pink suit and it was rad then. <laughs> To be fair, ben though. Ben and I have an understanding, though. <laughs> oh, boy. About pink suits? Well, just in general. It, it, it seems like you... He, he, can't give me, he can't give me flack until he agrees to be the grilled daddy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. To be was... fair, though, you're like a blonde ginger, so pink's not exactly a tone that would work well with you. Uh, no, it'd just make me too. You would just look more pink and red. Oh, I'm a naturally very red-faced person. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're done one hand. Well, more or less. We got most of it off. We got most of it off. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. But uh, look. Ta -da. In comparison to that. Oh, wow, that's nice and clean. Yeah. It's simple and clean. There's also other ways to um, take nail polish off, which is like. I've never tried it, but apparently you can use spray-on deodorant as what? well. What? How? Yeah, I have no idea, but... I guess, again, maybe it's a, a solvent thing, but... One of my friends was like, you can totally use spray-on deodorant, and I was like, huh? Um, no, one, I mean, spray-on deodorant's stupid. I assume you could probably also use gasoline, but you I, probably shouldn't. Yeah, you could probably use any type of liquid when it comes you to gasoline. You could just chop your finger off, really. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Is your nail that you run out of nail polish yeah. remover, you can use hydrochloric acid to take your nail polish off? Life hacks. Life hacks. Can you use a Sharpie to take off your nail polish? No, but did you ever draw with Sharpies on your nails? Oh, yeah. Nail? Oh, yeah. yeah. Not, don't do that. That's bad. <laughs> don't draw with Sharpies on your nails, please. Also, yeah. don't use whiteboard markers as face paint. Wait, did you do that? Yes. Yeah, you're an idiot. I was an idiot. Oh, dude, too, that's so crazy, man. That's face. crazy. Oh my god. Also, these are really fun for face painting. Do you know why acrylic is fun? Because it just peels off. There's no cleaning involved. Oh. When it dries, you can just peel it off later. Really? Yeah. Huh. You should get face paint. I worked a lot of festivals in high school. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Were you like the face painting person? Yeah. Face painting, nail did design. You, did you have like the Darth Maul and the Spider-Man down packed? Pretty much. Not so much Darth Maul, but Spider-Man, Ninja Turtles. Darth Maul is, is like the, that's the upper crust. Oh, yeah. Um, that's why my nose is running, actually. Um, almost done. My favorite was the, because I love glitter so much, is because we'd have the people come up that would be like, I want to be a fairy princess. And I'm like, oh, girl, I got you. <laughs> like, we would do like these beautiful wing designs from the tips of their eyes out and down their cheeks and we would put like dots and glitter sparkles and in all these beautiful colors. They were my favorite. Okay, Fat32 is Chat good. wants Ian's head to get painted. Oh my god. I just want you to know that they want that. I mean it peels right off, right? Yeah, totally. We could... That's what I said. <laughs> We, it's happening now, folks. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll have something on my head again. Get Paul in here. It's all about things on his head. I mean, I think stacked is generally where we're going with him. All right, last nail. Okay. Didn't think they'd have to come in and work. I just don't want to touch it. Hmm. Nailed it. Okay. Get it? There we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> nice. Uh, make Friendship. those make those go away. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Okay, they got away. Do I put my hands in this now? Yes, please. Ah. So they're gonna sit there for like. Two, three minutes? Um, while we talk about our feelings. While we talk about our feelings, yes. I mean, generally, that's what you do when you go get your nails done, right? Yeah, we, you talk, talk, about, about boys. we talk about boys and uh, how our feelings are. Did you hear about how, like, Ben and Chad me Mathers oh. asked out Tina? What? I Tina? know. Tina. Tina's a bitch. <laughs> 
Tina. Fuck Tina. <laughs> you seen the L word? <laughs> Tina's a bitch. Yeah. I never did watch the L word. Hmm. I had a lot of pe- friends in my circle that were. We're really watching the that. L word. Are we? I own every single episode on DVD. That didn't surprise me. Seems like a good series. Awesome. <laughs> what? What are you giggling uh, about? What's going on, Heather? So when Steve Ian's head prepped the area, it was really funny. <laughs> Someone prepped the area on my head? No, they want the they because you're supposed to put your nails in the water and they oh. want your head stuck in yes. the water. Get no. one of those head bowls. <laughs> okay. It's like put like a sombrero. It, oh, actually, you know how you do that? It's like a sombrero with like the hat part t- taken off, and then you just kind of like it's around the whole thing. Be just like be just like <laughs> at, m- pantomiming it with me, like he's totally on board. He's like, I know exactly what you're talking about. What you're talking about is is a is a Japanese shampoo hat. Oh, is that a thing? Mm-hmm. Oh, brilliant. If you can think it, it's been done by the Japanese. By the Japanese. <laughs> you just need to watch that Roman Japanese bath anime we want to. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is a good anime. What's that called again? Thermae Romae. Okay, yeah, that was a lot of fun. It's about a it's about, it. about a guy from actual literal actual Rome, uh, who goes to a bathhouse and then he goes forward in time when he gets sucked down a hole. Head to Japan. Yeah. To, like cut yeah, time to, machine. Yeah, I guess he in time and also to Japan. <laughs> All right. And uh, he wakes up in like modern day. Well, no, I guess not. So because we just cleaned yours, I don't want to put paint on them right away. Okay. Just because they're possible, like just they're sensitive. They're very sensitive right now, so I just want to let them like sit for a minute. So while you do that, uh, decide what you want. Dudes, I don't even know. What if we do like a different cut? Co- no, that's trashy. A different color on every nail. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's super trashy. Don't do that. Uh, the only way that you can get away with anything like that is if you do your ring finger a different color mm-hmm. than your other fingers, or a design. We could draw like a pretty flower. Oh snap! Is flowers. A, a reason like to make your ring finger a different color? No, it's just weighted. Okay. Because your pinky is smaller, so it just looks better. Okay, so just an aesthetic reason. An aesthetic. Mm. Cool. Mm. What's chat saying? What color should I go for? Or your pointer finger, because it's your magic finger. Mm. Hmm. Those are all right. I don't Spells. like the greens. I like the darker Pointing. colors. Like this one's pretty nice. You'll never guess. They said plaid. Uh-huh. <gasps> Shocking. Do I could do your thumb plaid. Well, could we like, like, what if we did the whole thing red and then using black acrylic do like, so like French a cross? French manicure. French manicure. Yeah, I don't have the tools for that and he doesn't have the nails for that. <laughs> yeah, we could do we could do plaid nails. We could uh, do it like red on the, on the got... base and then like... We've got this one, which I think is okay as a red. I don't remember. Oh, there's the Lur logo nails one. Okay, Loopy120 wants those. I said somebody was going to say that. Ben should go red in honor of Ox Bellows. Uh, oh, yeah, Ox Bellows. Loxy Ixis wants you You've to go You've done Uber. red before. Uber. I want to like, deck you out in purples and pinks, and you hate pink, <laughs> and you disappoint me. How about black with purple skulls? Ooh, so hardcore. Would that even show up? It would be purple with black skulls, because I don't have black nail polish. Because uh-huh. it's really hard on your nails when it's darker colors. Hmm. But I like the plaid. You can do plaid. Because then it's not it's not just red. It's not just red. It's... <laughs> what we're saying is ben wants to stay on brand. Always on brand, and then that way... I can wear other colored shirts, but still say I'm doing things. Okay, this for the first time I'm gonna do a base coat because your nails are really fresh right now. So, your nails are getting fresh with me, boy. Fresh. Fresh. You kiss your mother with those nails. No, no. that seems like a horrible idea. (laughs) That's a joke at work. You scratch, scratch your mom's nail, you scratch your mom's face. So we're we're putting on a base coat. Yes. Oh snap! So the base coat is to protect your nails. Mm Mm-hmm. From the harshness of the chemicals, I'm super lazy and never do this, but Ben's nails are freshly cleaned. And I'm a sensitive boy. Yeah, he is. Cries about everything. Not true. So right now what I'm working on here is trying to get the Dreamcast to boot, or re- just recognize that the, uh, the hard drive is there. And so far, it's kind of recognizing, but it can't read the MBR from IDE by LBA. <laughs> and I don't know what that means. Oh, I was going to say, I don't know that what mean? that means. Can't read the master boot record. I know that part. From the IDE controller. Yep. 
from the logical block array because that's how it's seeing the, the, the drive format it is by logical block array. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. How do I fix that? <laughs> Oh, hell. Uh, is it supposed to be formatted by LBA? Is it supposed to be formatted in another method? Ah, uh, well, when I did it by MBR. When my stuff does that, I just punch it. Did you do a speed test? Did you turn it off and on again? Many times. <laughs> Quite Try settings. Often. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> oh, there is a settings, that's right. I can't. It's not plugged in. Oh. Uh, no, I think I know what I need to do here, and that's... Try formatting it again. Oh, how's format. your boyfriend? There, there's two My ways boy. that I remember you used to be able to format a drive. It was in LBA or, and I'm serious, large. L-A-R-G-E. <laughs> which just meant you were formatting it with large blocks. Ah. So maybe the block size yeah, is would. important. Could be. Let's have a look here at how I I just can realized that anything I'm whispering that. is probably being picked up anyway. Oh, yeah. yes, yeah. We can, we, we can hear everything. We hear all... Whoops. All right, so Mac OS X format will be A. Oh, is it plugged into your Mac? Yes, currently. Oh, shit. So what is the end goal here? The end goal is to just get the Dreamcast to recognize the hard drive so I can load uh, games off of the hard drive rather than off of the the GD ROM inside the Dreamcast. Right, so you can you can just put basically any game you want into there. Yeah, and it's well it mainly because it's much less loud and faster to load off a hard drive. Right. Than it is to load off the Yeah. Yeah. Just saw something in chat saying something about you and I, Ian and TQ, looking for common knowledge and missing. <laughs> I'm like, there's got to be something we both know. I'm kind of interested in this Loki T I I I Ixy saying, am I going to make a Sega Saturn into a kegerator? Mm -hmm. That cool. sounds great. All right, those have to dry now. That's like a one-stop party shot. If, you're, if your game console also gives you beer, mm -hmm. that's the dream. Well, isn't, isn't that why you get a girlfriend? <laughs> why? How do you get... Beer out of girlfriends. How do you get a get girlfriend? A Tell me, please. That's the one thing that we'll never be able to do on TTSF. How, How do you, you get someone to love you? <laughs> Tonight on TTSF, I'm Teach please. me, please. <laughs> We're going to make someone love us. <laughs> for four months now. <laughs> uh. I mean, for a crafting stream, shouldn't it be how do I make someone love me? Yeah. How do you make someone love <laughs> <laughs> Today on Human Tinker Tail, we'll be making a human being out of clay. Yeah. They look so good. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, Fresh I to know. death. I'm on. I'm get right in. You're, and once I get the top coat on, you're going to die. Oh, really? They're going to, like, oh, just look. Yeah. There we go. You can even get this. You get a little bit of nope, this. Sparkle. Sorry. No, against the blue is really good. That's fierce. Ooh. Mm hmm. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's some like high end gala shit. Yeah, no kidding. If you, if, <laughs> if, God, if, if you go to the charity dinner, we're doing your wow. nails beforehand. Yeah, like, absolutely, please. Jeez. All right, are you dry yet? Never. Not, not quite. <laughs> this extra? Oh. GPT. Format. LBA. It's a whole other language. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with your nails? Mine, I can't do anything to them. Right, but next, what's are you gonna do the caps again or whatever? Um, God, my nails are so bad right now. Um, I don't know, cause like, the caps are really bad for them, like strength wise. But my nails are so weak that when I don't have them, they just rip off anyway. So, <laughs> I mean, it kind of comes down to too, like, nail biting is bad. Don't do it's it. It's also fifty dollars to get your nails capped at basic. Really? Yes. Jesus. So. <laughs> Costs a lot to be beautiful. I'm easy, but I ain't cheap. These are probably good. Okay. We're going all out. Actually, because we have the base coat, if you mm. wanted acrylic red. Uh, can you explain for the chat what capped nails means? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, so when you have... When you have nails that are... Like me, where you bite, 
or um, just not as long as you want, what they'll do is they'll put um, a fake, like from the, probably like where your nail bed starts to show the nail, like right here. Psychedelic. Yes, the TV is great. Um, from here up, they'll put a plastic nail over top with a type of glue that will make your nails longer. And then what they'll do is they'll use a, it's kind of like a putty and they level it down from your nail down to your nail so that it, it kind of just goes in one smooth up rather than like, here's plastic, there's your nail, right? So instead of going juj, juj, they go whoosh. And then those are the technical terms. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah, and then they paint the polish over top to make it look all pretty. And this is a horrible example because this is what happens when you have them rip off because you're a bad person. Mm. Now I've got some of that putty drying on my nail that oh, I can. Wow. So I gotta go get that taken care of. But they can do it all at the nail place. Yes. Be super careful though, like where you go and watch their nail and their supplies because if somebody walks from across the room with a like Dremel tool and they don't wash it, leave, like. Yeah, it sounds like a bad time. Always make sure to, I, I, so I haven't been washing my Dremels here in between uses, is that a problem? Yes. Okay. I mean, um, are you Dremeling yourself? Uh, generally, if I ever do, that would be considered a, uh, a failure ah, okay. of, the, uh, of the process. Right. I really don't like this red. This what? is the same one. This is the only red we have, and it's that same one that's a little goopy. Ooh. Okay, we don't have to use it. We no. Can, we can use a different one. Okay, so you're saying that that these uh, these polishes have a different consistency then? Well, this one's been drying, like it was left uncapped or something. Ooh. It's just older, so. I mean, we could use the acrylic red. It's quite bright though. It'd be flashy, flashy, not trashy. <laughs> Can I get you a shirt that says that? A little, that's actually a great shirt. <laughs> Flashy, not trashy. What are you doing right now? Your cuticles are just a little high. So I'm pushing your cuticles back slightly. I did not know that was a thing you could do. Yes. I was talking about it earlier, mm -hmm. but um, I don't like fudging with cuticles too much because that's literally what's keeping your, your nail bed safe from bacteria. Mm. So... I don't like messing with them too much. I would leave them totally alone if I had the choice, but sometimes, like, you see how we got a lot of paint on yours? Yeah. Because it was so high up. So, I just moved it down a bit. You can be more pretty, less safety. Rule number one, look good. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Oh, what happened? If you do get it on, like your cuticle or your finger like and you don't want to wipe it off that's cool it will come off on its own I just recommend not like picking it off because you're basically just ripping probably skin from below it so gross just let it flake off into shower oh fudge it whatever Currently, I'm attempting to install GDesk via Homebrew, which means I need to... I haven't updated my Homebrew in a long time. And, uh, yeah. What's Homebrew? Homebrew is a, uh, a way of... It's a package manager for Mac OS X okay. to allow you to install uh, command line pro programs easily, quickly, and cleanly. Okay. And unfortunately, it's... Uh, yeah, I have, like, like I said, I haven't updated it in a while. And I'm trying to install GPT, and now it's asking me to remove some directories and run some updates. This is why... This is why you should know what your computer's doing when you want to install things. Uh, but, hey, it works. Or it works most of the time. Homebrew slash core is a shallow clone. To get the complete history, run git dash c quotation mark dollar sign bracket brew dash dash repo homebrew slash core bracket quotation mark fetch dash dash unshallow. I don't understand programming. <laughs> no, me neither. That's I tried. A, that's a shell command. Oh. My that's brain don't work program. that way. No. My brain works in patterns and colors, but numbers, can, no. Can you relate that to programming? Can you turn everything into a shape? Hmm. Because if you could... I'd probably master it. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that geometry is Turing complete. 
Well, then yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Do that. Okay. Somebody else, please do that. <laughs> I see you. So many dependencies. Ah. That's too much. Hmm. Okay, we're done there. Let's try that again. Brew install G disk. It doesn't exist. Oh wait, maybe I can just use F disk. Can you? I might be able to. This disk. <laughs> the C F disk. C F disk. Hmm? C F disk is another one. You missed the spot. Well, I've already got F disk installed, so yeah, it's. I think it's part of the what? the oh. base system. Those look lush. Hell yeah, fierce. Wait, Good. this camera. I always. I'm so bad at remembering which camera we're using. Let's <laughs> have to dry now. Look, they're red. This gets. It's so goopy that it just catches on everything. Because I have bad hands. No, it's because of the snail color is goopy, but that's fine. It, the edges, like, this stuff will come off when you shower, and then it'll look perfect after. Perfect. Yeah. A guarantee. I never made a guarantee. <laughs> Can we get a closer shot of the stuff that's going to come off when you shower after? Oh, yeah. So, Hold like... To my camera. That stuff. So see how its cuticle is kind of red? Oh, yeah. And then I think we got it on like the edge of his finger right there. It's a little hard to see, but oh, yeah. um, mm. that's the kind of thing, especially for this color. It's like it's on me for crying out loud. Like it's on my finger and I didn't even do anything. But that's because it's like all reds where you get it on something and it stays forever. Like, God, it's like eating a cherry and then you like drop it slightly. Oh, no. Yeah. You're like, well, that is ruined. Or spaghetti sauce. Wild peaks, yeah, no, I uh, there is there is discutil, which is generally used for this sort of partitioning. But I need to make sure that it's doing things correct, and discutil doesn't add many, it doesn't have many options. That all looks like heebie-jeebie. It's all, it is all heebie-jeebie. Okay, just checking. Let's see. It's going to take a hot minute to dry. All right. Let's do a lap around the parking lot. We've well, been going for about an hour if we wanted to take a break. That might not be a bad idea at this point. Uh, what do you think, you? Yeah, because this needs a little bit longer to so dry. Let's, let's let that dry for a bit. So goopy. Let's take a quick break, and we it's will be back. a gel. I just I didn't even know that. I just read it. Oh, that could explain partially. That would, could explain the, the, the goopiness. goopiness. Yeah. <laughs> I was applying this in completely the wrong way. Well, Read, read your labels, kids. Yeah, that's what we've that was what we've learned so far. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna take a quick break, uh, do some commerce, and uh, you guys stick around, and we'll be back after this short message. I love milkshakes. Hey, welcome back to Tinker Taylor Solar Fry, where today TQ is doing a nail job on a number of gentlemen here in the office today, and doing a quite a good job of it. Thanks. And I am attempting to. Still work with the Dreamcast. Uh, currently, I'm fighting with installing G disk. Yes, G disk. We'll see if we can make that happen. Give to it you, the G. What are you What are you up to right now? So I didn't read the label because I'm a <laughs> ding dong. Okay. Um, and this is gel, which is different than the regular nail polish. It's thicker, and it kind of there's no better way to put it than bubbles. Mm -hmm. Like, it has sort of like a pop-up feel to it, like a 3D touch, which I didn't realize when using it. So I should have put on the base layer a lot thinner than I did, um, because it's better to do very thin, easy layers of gel, 
and rather than do like a thicker layer and another thicker layer, it's better to do like four or five small layers. Uh, so like painting a car. It's gonna like, be a pain yeah. in the ass to take off though. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So we're gonna do the second layer. Good. It also takes longer to dry because it's thicker. So we're gonna do a second layer and then Cam's gonna come in, get his top coat done. And then Ben will come back and we'll start Hell on the flat. Yeah. Lather it up. I have a question for TQ. Mm -hmm. Dear Dr. TQ, I'm oh, taking my toenail polish off and notice my nails are a bit yellow. Do you recommend not painting them for a while or just making sure to put like a base coat on first? First question, what color was the nail polish? Because they'll have to get back to if, you. <laughs> No, I, I did that thing where I stopped talking because I was focusing. Uh, yeah. If the nail polish has any tint of a yellow color or is in that spectrum, it might just be bad nail polish. Um, but if your nails are yellow afterwards, it's probably dye, which means you either left it on too long or you didn't base coat it, um, and it was a cheap polish. So I would say, like, clean them, um, let them sit for a couple weeks if you do it, like, consistently, like... I know a lot of people that will never go out without their nails polished. I would say like two two weeks. Let them let them air out. Um, do a nice like Epsom salt bath with them. Maybe get like uh, a really soft, like extra soft toothbrush. Don't do like any type of medium or hard that'll just hurt you. Um, and just wash them real nice and gentle. And let them sit. But yeah, if the if the polish had any indication of that color in it, no, nah, this one's but metallic silver. Metallic silver. What brand was that? That doesn't sound good at all. Yeah, I wouldn't paint your nails. Or maybe if you've never used that color before, you might be allergic to it. Um, so maybe before you use it again, try it on one nail and do the like multicolor nails and only put it on one of them and see if it happens again because you might just be allergic to it. Huh. Yeah. I may have forgotten my uh, my, my admin password on my computer. <laughs> huh. Womp womp. Just don't ask me what it is, okay? <laughs> TQ, what's my password? Ian, what did I just... You're going to get a... You know what? I'm gonna put a bullseye on your head and get a Nerf gun. <laughs> Passing go. That's uh, a different password. <laughs> it's been a Where's... long time since I used that one, yeah, actually. Chat suggests one, two, three, four for guests, and of course, dick butt. Oh, yeah, of course. It's I, always dick butt. I hate dick butt. I'm not doing that. Um, Try a pineapple taco salad. Also, oh, no, I forgot what I was gonna say. See? But pineapple taco salad instantly erases all minds. <laughs> Try it on your friends. Oh, I was gonna say when you do gel because it is so sticky, you can do this with regular nail polish too if you want. Um, get a Q-tip or a brush and put Vaseline around on the skin around your nail because then if you do get polish on it, it'll wipe right off after. Life hack. Sweet strats. Also, while we're talking about health relating to like hair and stuff, uh, your teeth, just FYI, never use anything other than a soft or extra soft toothbrush. Please and thank you. I thought you were going to be like, don't, don't put nail teeth. polish on your teeth. No. I, <laughs> it's like, it's every time I talk about nail health, I start talking about teeth health because that's where my brain goes. Is it just like your teeth? Well, because it's like a bone you and like. with your hands. You, we, people bite their teeth, like their Nails. People bite their teeth. People bite their teeth. No ben. way. Yes. <laughs> You're blowing my mind. I here, know. <laughs> I'm really big on health for your body. Okay. Are right, you kicking me out of the room now? Yes. Can you go get Cam for me? Uh, somebody needs to take my thing off. Now take my thing off. <laughs> dead, 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 dead. Whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps he going. He actually did it. <laughs> well, now I got a little bit of chess there. The chest. All right, I'll go get the other boy. You, you know how we do. Thank you. Hey, other beautiful boy. Hi. Hi. I'm not going to have mine done. You're not going to have your son? No, because I bite my nails all the time without thinking about it. 
Mm. I bet you. I bet you wouldn't. I I bet you you wouldn't if I painted your damn nail. Probably a good point. Take one bite and be like, oh. Actually, they make um, bittering. They do. They make it bitter. I got it from my friend, and she liked the taste of it. And I was like, ew. Okay. Well, this is over. We're not friends anymore. After you, sir. Like the taste of bittering agents. For that they put in nail polish because you can get top coats that make you not bite. We're just gonna leave it out. That go. seems seems fine. Yeah. All right. Hi. Ooh, I want to try this top coat because this okay. is a different kind than Ben's, and I I haven't actually used it yet, so I want to see what happens over time. So a top coat is just like a protective layer that's put over top. Yep, it's a clear coat, so it's okay. pretty much the same chemical compound as nail polish, but without the tones of the colors. Hmm. And it's a little harder; it dries harder, so it ends ends up being kind of. Shimmer adds a nice glow and mm. keeps them protected. All right. So you don't chip them because nail polish is actually extremely chippable. Mm. If that's a word, chippable is a word, right? It's a word now. I said yeah, it. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. We've worded chippable. Oh, that's right. They also do make edible nail polish. Okay, that, that is a real thing. I'm sorry. But, why? Um, for children. It's generally like a candy coating thing that you put on your nails, from what I've seen. Candy coating. Yeah. Okay, so I thought the goal was to make people not suck their thumbs and chew their nails. This seems counterintuitive. Mm-hmm. I think their goal might be to make money, but... Yeah. You know. Shocking. Touché. Shocking. So I want to know how long this lasts, because you play video games mm-hmm. and you paint stuff, so I want to know how long this helps make this last because I know how long it would last without a top coat Mm -hmm. maybe like a week before it chipped if that right so I want to know because I haven't used this brand and I want to compare it to Ben so I know which one is better okay I will keep detailed notes thank you I appreciate it also be super careful because um Top coat is, as I was mentioning, able to be removed. Like, you can use it to remove nail polish. Mm -hmm. So if you touch it at all, it it will take the nail polish right off, and I'll have to start over. All right. I will be extra careful. How long will it take to dry? I would say to be safe, don't touch anything for 15 minutes. Oh, okay. And then to test it, you want to just lightly tap the top. Don't, like, drag it, and you can sort of feel if it's drying or not. Mm. You got time for one chicken dinner. But if you're going to... If you're going to mess with any nail, do your pinky because it's the smallest, so it's easiest to fix. Hmm. So test your pinky. Reasonable. It's also why I'm going to do your pinky last. Hmm. So test your right pinky, please and thank you, for dryness. Will do. Pro tip, do that at home too. Hmm. The smallest. Easy to fix. This is going on a lot nicer than Ben's did. Hmm. Nice. Ooh, that's a shiny top goat. Yo, huh? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. No. Wow. Uh huh. That's super yeah. glossy. Uh huh. <laughs> As it dries, it'll stay pretty glossy too. So like, that's so beautiful. You can get matte colors too, actually, which are really neat. And then you can get matte top coats to go with them. Ooh. But I'm not a matte person, so. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> no mats. That's just, no gods, we no mats. We got rid of all our mats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we finally I got did. rid of all of our mats. I'm sorry, Matt. Thank you. You're, you're one of us now. You passed the test. <laughs> Great. That's what I wanted. <laughs> um, oh, okay. let, me, let me see, because I don't... Is it easier this way, or No, like I just want to, like... Uh, I think you're good. Okay. Yeah. All right, I will trundle off then. Yes. Remember, right pinky. Right pinky. Test it over the right pinky. Yes, I will assist But who will assist me? Also, last time you did the shirt thing, we got 200 bits for it, in case you wanted to know. Hey! Oh, there it's you go. Buttons. And that would stop you? I have buttons. No. Not you. Sorry. Not me. Should I just sit here and fill the chair? Sure. Why don't sure. you get your nails done? Why don't we do your nails? 
I'm not going to pressure you. No, no, it's not that. It's, it was more that when people were saying, your cuticles are in awful shape. And you're, because you bite your nails. I says, I do bite my nails. I bite my nails back to the quick or further. I, I used to do that. Eyes. That's why I always have mine capped. Yeah. I mean, we can do them. It's just if you if you are okay with it, like not biting and stuff like that. I can't trust myself not to bite them is the problem. Mm, <laughs> I yeah. wish I could. Otherwise, I have to go bite to, back to biting my toenails instead. Oof. How do you even... Don't trust There's me. There's a lot of surprising things it, that people don't know worse. about me. It looks worse than when he bites his nails. I haven't done it in a while. It's How? kind of like a weird yoga pose. It's kind of out of consideration for my wife. I put that button back up. Get also, out of my chair. Out of consideration <laughs> for my wife. Goodbye. You get back behind the camera now. <laughs> I could do mine, but... Do you do nail art? Mm-hmm. That's why I'm going to do the plaid on Ben. That's what's going to take long to do it. I should actually get a photo of plaid because as easy as it is being lines, it's not just lines. Oh. I wonder if I've got this power in backwards. Plaid. I do not have the power in backwards. Plaid. Play so I can walk off camera, but you didn't come get me. Yeah. <laughs> so. Sounds like yep. So two things. First off, I can't get the I can't do the button. Oh back here. Because you can't. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not liked, and and they can't hear you, and yeah. Well, Unless you're they talking can kind of hear you. Mm -hmm. Ben's gonna take his shirt off for you. Is what he said. Sweet. Hard dressing men. And oh, then I'm gonna paint his chest. <laughs> hair and all. It's okay that. Because oh. the uh, acrylic will come right off, right? Uh, that reminds me. Uh, somebody it, in the chat wanted you to paint a Ian's face on his head. Paint Ian's face do on Do you want to pay me to do a portrait? It's like $150. We, we've done that already. Too. We, we had another professional artist do that. See? There Harrison you go. Harrison Crooks did that. Mm. With, with cake silver. I'm trying to silver. think, like, mm. how I'm going to do this. Because of the texture differences? Like, do you want me to just do squares? I don't know. Do you just do, like, lines? Yeah, I mean, that's what I would do, but, like, because I see how it's, like... And that shine through. This is actually a darker red. Nice plant you got there. Yeah, but I don't know how to, like, make it... Make do? Make the, like... the oh, sh Yeah. Way. So I'm just trying to think of how I would do that. Can you thin them down a bit at all? Mm, not really. Hmm. <laughs> ben, you've made things hard. <laughs> we gotta do crazy shit here. This is all about trying. <laughs> trying to think. It's truth. What I could do because. I'm using the acrylic. We're gonna use the acrylic for the black. But I was thinking, like. I guess lines would be fine, probably. Yeah, we'll just do them. We'll see how they look. Why not? That means I have to get this plate. Now we really get down to business to defeat the Huns. <laughs> now I want to watch Mulan. Yeah. Mulan night. Movie night. Choo choo. All right. Motherfucking half price pizza night. That's the important part. Let's yeah. see how well this plaid goes. Give me a thumb. Can we do it over here? Mm, it's like super hard for me to lean like that. You can roll your chair over. The, the table's in like a weird... Yeah, you, put, you put where you ever need it. Yeah, be find comfortable. Yeah. Okay. I, will yeah. find your, I will find that nail. <laughs> I will find that nail. P.S. I'll find that nail. Can name him Hopper and Green Nail. Mm. Or Red Nail, I guess. I don't know why I never get a mic video on this thing. Everything changed when the Plaid Nation attacked. Oh. You can thank chat for that. We don't really attack. We're more so like... They kind of hug each other. Yeah. Until you're just like sick of us and you kick us out. <laughs> <laughs> you really can't move right now. I will really not move. Chew, sneeze. 
I didn't bring Seamus specifically because I might sneeze. You while might you're sneeze doing this. while I'm doing this. Ah. I was going to bring him. No doggo for streamo. Because I know that he's allowed here and he loves it here. But I was not about to have you sneeze a to move your nail and b probably on me. I almost just like the the lines across. That's kind of neat. Do you want to show that off to camera? Oh, I'll let you do your thing. You have to. You'll dip your knuckle in a second. Is a, bit, a little bit in the way, but I can kind of see it. No, it's fine. Good. I could you just do this, and then I'm like Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to do the lines and let them dry before I do the other ones. So if you really like them like that, you can end up. This actually looks really good. You're doing a terrific job. Oh, thanks, friend. Chat is also very excited about the job you were doing. Oh, thanks, Chat. Very good. It good. All Ben's chat has wanted for like weeks now is plaid nails. Don't move. Yeah. What did I, I just I'm say? I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> Sorry, I used my words. Thank you. <laughs> Can't believe we share an office. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That's not fair. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Don't move, Ben. Don't move. <laughs> Okay, all right, this is my serious face. <laughs> I'm not buying it. <laughs> it's also really weird doing this with the person not across from me. I'm not used to that. Someone in chat wants to know how many bits in order to make you twitch. To make you twitch? Well, well, you're doing his nails. Go right up his arm. Well, I think for Ben. Do to, I get the bits? I think because ben, if I don't get them, I don't care. I think Ben. They want Ben to twitch and and no. ruin the nail. I respect you. Can't you can't be like we want plaid nails and they, they and start having like the plaid fuck nail. up plaid yeah. nails. <laughs> That's not fair. I'll just draw a little whale on your pinky. No. Whale plaid. Uh-huh. How's it going, Ian? It's, uh, this is diff difficult. Things are, uh... Difficult yes. with 3Ds. Files. There we go. Yeah. How, many, how many streams have you been working on this Dreamcast for? A number. More than I would, uh, more than I'd uh, care to. I mean, at this point, you're just like, please work. <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah. Please do the thing. At what point do you give up? Um. <laughs> I've never known him to actually give up. I've never, project. exactly. So, like, what, what is it that makes Ian just throw in the towel? Well, I'm considering, uh, Considering it now, no. Uh, what I think I need is to actually try a different uh, tactic in terms of you. Is it because the seg is upside down? No, no, that has <laughs> absolutely nothing to do. Uh, I might need to boot into Windows or into Linux to get this done <laughs> properly, or I might. I'm need so glad I wasn't doing something. At the moment. <laughs> I might need to do this with an actual tower rather than the laptop so that I can work it internally rather than try to go over USB. But I don't think that's the problem. Mm. So, anyway. Right now I'm trying to make uh, F-Disc work. Mother f and disc Mother f and disc Yep. Bias mm. heads? I don't know. One? Dis sure. Disc. That sounds good. Sectors? Sure. One. Fine. These discs. This disc. Sounds good. Okay. These look really cool. I'm digging this. Yeah, I look like, how nifty this shit is. I tend to do like really cool nail art. Ta -da. 
looks very neat so far. And the other one. That looks so neato. Neato burrito. Should I do the lines up on this one? Mm -hmm. Sure. And then that'll be the first set is the up line, and then you can be like, oh! <gasps> you have to have a steady hand for this shit. Yes, you do. Think about that, you got it. Like any, <laughs> like any line in art, you just kind of stroke and hope it turns out okay. Hey, oh. <laughs> got there. I was gonna go the opposite way, so. <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, I was just gonna be like. Womp womp. No, I was gonna be. <laughs> I was gonna be like, isn't that kind of how it is when you have a stroke? <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah. That's dark. Yeah. Yeah. You right. have two different kinds of humors. Okay, don't move. <gasps> Ian, that includes you. Deadly serious. Okay. Next time, I'll be deadly serious next time. <laughs> Sorry. Got pilgrim. Bread makes you fat. Bread makes you fit. Oh, is it time? It's gonna work this time. Oh shoot, I missed the uh I missed the Oops. nope and it still can't read it for some reason. Press start to enter the boot menu. Yeah, that that doesn't help unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, but is it like actually because the egg is upside down? No, no, that actually has nothing to do with it. Okay, just checking. It's okay. It's kind of annoying too because I can't... I only know how phones work. I can't format the, uh, the drive from inside Dream Shell, which would make things a lot easier. Mm. Now knowing that this is a gel color makes way more sense. Let's check in the file manager, see if that'll do it. Nope. Wait. Open selected file. Oh. Compress. Copy. Rename. File manager. Delete. Switch to dual or single mode. Exit. GD Ripper is my wrestling name. Before us asks, have I tried paying the Russian with bitcoins? Not yet. Uh, weirdly, yeah, all the stuff for all the stuff for the Dream Shell is all in Russian. So, really? Well, it's uh, they, they they have English bits, but yeah, these sites are very Russian. Oh. DC dash SWAT dot RU. Where's hat? Get Claire up in here. That's the correct date, though. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. That's nice. I'm trying to get this, but it can't work. Dreamcast. Da, 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 flash. Is the fumes taking anyone else? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> might not be the fumes, dude. Are, you might you just dying? be sleepy. Because there's no more fumes out. This is just acrylic paint. That's good. A tiny space brain says paying the Russian with Bitcoin is a fantastic euphemism. And I need to know what it means. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got to uh, pay the Russian with Bitcoin. Gotta go, gotta, gotta, gotta go and pay the Russian with Bitcoin. Hold up. Gotta go render some blockchains. Need like... Can gotta you like go, turn this way? Yeah. Gotta go drop a table. <laughs> hey, don't move. That's SQL humor. Ta -da! So you got one diagonal, one vertical right now. And then you can decide what you want to do about I'm it. I'm like Beetlejuice. Do you want to do crisscrosses? I don't know. I do like crisscross. Do you want to do, which one do you like better? Because I'll do the crisscross on the opposite. And then you can like have two separate designs if you want it in the end. Which one do I, what? Like right now, if you had to leave one of these as they are, which mm -hmm. one would you leave? This one, the horizontal. So I'll make this one plaid. Okay. 
And then if you want to end up leaving the horizontal and mm -hmm. have one plaid hand and one horizontal, you could. Cool. Ooh. It's good to have the choices. But you need to, yeah, there we go. Sassy nail lady. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> if I knew another language, I would talk in it right now, but I don't know another language. Okay, maybe. You can make up one. That's not how languages work. You pick Latin. Actually, that's exactly how languages work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about a little language called Klingon. Yeah. <laughs> Elvish. I speak the language of. I was going to say love, but I don't. I speak for the trees. Oh. Talking to my trees. What do you think? Yeah, I can get behind it. Yeah? It's for fun. Yeah, he doesn't like it. What? No, it's fine. I guess at this point you could do fill-ins though That's too. That's what I mean, right? Yeah. So yeah. Okay. That, I mean, it's not gonna. It's gonna be like this. Mm-hmm. You're gonna wonder if I maybe had the IDE cable in upside down. I doubt it, but it won't hurt anything if I do flip it. It's always pin one to pin one. Right? Y yeah. But what if you forgot what pin one was? I would hope. I would hope you soldered the the. the... The, um, do you want to do something different? Thing incorrectly. I would hope so too. Yeah. But what if I didn't? That's a good point. Do you want to do something different? Yeah, I think it's too late. Not too late. We got it. It looks good. We did the thing. Okay, so it looks Check like it wasn't upside down because everything's I don't not like it. turning no? on. No. I mean, you can't really fix it. I just say can't. She can try. destroy it. You could try. I be, made you so I can destroy you. I can you. destroy you. Wait, what are you doing? You are my child. Wait, what, what are you doing? Generally, you don't do that to your children. Don't destroy your children. I just want to see what happens when I do this because it is acrylic. Nope. The you took the off. whole thing off. Yeah. No. Oh, wow. Biobuster yeah. uh, says, let me tell you about a little language called intercal. Where you have to write, where you have to be polite Take to the compiler. This just kind of looks like you like destroyed you and ripped your nail off. Yeah, yeah. like it kind of it look kind of looks gross. Don't zoom in on it. Oh God, that's <laughs> did you rip his nail off? <laughs> All right. Here. Sometimes we make mistakes. Have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> have a drink, says Beach. Don't. What? Please don't. You want me to get it rid them all off? No, just this one. Okay. We'll redo your thumb. Redo your thumb. I like the stripes better. The, like the long ways? Well, no, I just like, I don't like the like check. Yeah. yeah. I agree. So I, I'll just do, because that hand is already, actually I'll do your thumb criss and then it's like you're crisscrossed on like vertical. What? And then you'll see. Just take that off. Words. I'm good at them. Has anyone drink, uh, been drinking from that water yet? Nope, that's the spare one I brought in. Right. Because y'all thirsty. Oh, oh, super thirsty, thirsty boy. This is not going to end well. <laughs> it's like feeding a baby bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, are you going to chug the whole glass? <laughs> I was going to try. <laughs> this is my water. Jerk. I'm like a dog. Every time I do this, something different happens. It's the worst. Isn't that the magic of, <laughs> of doing shit? You're gonna have to pee See, in now like this is fucking up my nails. ten minutes. That's why I never do it. What? Remember when my nails were all pretty and No, I mean the nails that we've spent time doing because I'm the one doing the removing. Oh, here. <laughs> well, you know, we could just take it off and do a whole well, other one. Much there. Oh, another one. It's this one. Kind of got effed up. It's fine, though. Farley F, yeah, you're right. We could have done straws. We For the next long... Yeah, we, we need straws on Saturday, and we need straws now. We should really keep straws in the office. We should have crazy straws. <gasps> yeah, the yes. ones that are bendy. And go up to your face and become glasses. How long have we been That's doing this, and how much longer is left is the, is the question I have. Uh, we've been doing this for a time of... Oh, let me use the, uh, the, the lure thing. Uptime. We have been using... You're logged out. 
I can't Here, use that. <laughs> and now I have to log in, and I don't want to log in. One hour, 35 minutes. Thank you. How much longer do you, uh, do you need? We're finishing that. But I kind of want to do your whole hands over again. No, I don't want to do... I'm not taking this off again. <laughs> because you're not going to be the one to rub my nails off. I'm not taking... It's a painful ordeal. <laughs> you can do Beach. Beach is the one who's done. Because he bites his nails. Just do, like, your pinky nails. Actually, I'll let that dry and then I'll fix that one. <laughs> just bite all of them, then. I'm can you just dip your thumb for me, just to let it relax a bit? I'll relax a bit. You need to relax a bit. No. How does this progression go? You relax a bit, I'll, I'll relax a bit you. What? <laughs> there we go. You have to give me a hand massage on the other hand. I gotta fix that nail. So you can get shit, apparently. I'm here forever. This is my life now. I have to ask him if he wants a hand massage or not, actually. You get a hand massage too. Why do you think he gets it? Get a hand massage. He gets a hand massage. Everybody gets a hand massage. Like power things right. I have to let the nail polish like remover settle because if I paint over it, it doesn't work that way. That's that's how you try things. You blow air on them. That's how you. Am I wrong? It's just like oral sex. You just blow on it. Dude, if you don't know somebody that thought you literally blow on it... <laughs> then they're an expert. That's... that's speed strats. <laughs> speed run strats. Okay, okay. Okay, so Here the drink has still boots. That's that's good. That is good. Okay, let that one dry. You can take the thumb out. And I'll fix your thumb up. Then we'll top coach you. <laughs> that's the, uh... Okay. The sad part is I figured out, uh, and we may just end up doing this route. In the research here, uh, in between the time that I have already uh, soldered this up so far, in the time it's, it's taken me to do the very six streams on this Dreamcast, apparently there's another person out there who's willing to actually make a device that will just make an IDE connector to the GD-ROM connector. Sweet. For much less than uh, much less than the other ones were, and they make them on a regular basis rather than waiting for the Russian to open their orders. Yes, previously the only way was to wait for a Russian guy to say, I'm putting these up for sale. So you're literally going to pay the Russian guy with bits? No, this I'm going to talk to a... Uh, you're going to talk to this other person. Yes, so this, this this man in China. Oh, good. Yeah. Making your way around the world. Yeah, so it's it's going to be... Uh, I'm going 80 to... bitcoins. Oh, you fudged up your pinky, too. I will have you know that you made me do your job. It makes me sick! Strawberry quick. quick. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gravity high five. <laughs> okay, let's This is why this is why we spend all of our time together. We are Hello. friends. You guys? You and me. Oh, <laughs> we spend our time together? Oh, uh, whoa. You're there? This is smoking. What? what? Oh, uh that might be why the drive wasn't working. Yeah, this could be why everything's not working. Get in on the thing that's making smoke. I'm, no, I'm going to disconnect it before it finishes no, smoking. No, make more for the audience. Maybe that's why you're dying. This whole time, you're the one that needs ventilation. Is it plugged in? It is plugged in, okay. But it's, yeah. Oh, is this not working? <laughs> I don't think it can answer you. Because it looks like there's... Oh my god. Okay. Weird. Huh. Let's not use that particular plug anymore. Oh, so that was your problem. It Chad might be. Chad is going nuts saying you let the magic smoke out. I think I might have let the magic smoke out too, but... What's also, the they want you to pour acetone on it. <laughs> no! That, that maybe not be a one you should follow. What's the magic smoke? So the magic smoke is uh, what makes computers work. And okay. sometimes if you, if you do something wrong with a computer... Yeah. 
the magic gray smoke comes out and the computer doesn't work anymore because it doesn't have the smoke inside it that it needs to work. This, this, is, a, this is part of the, uh, the lore of the history of computer science. Okay. But, it's a way of saying something got fried. Yeah. Oh, because it's I thought there was actually like a magic no, smoke. No, there isn't actually a ma actual magic smoke. However, let me tell you about the magic, more magic switch. <laughs> What's that? I, cannot, I can't remember what computer, I think it was one of the older IBM mini computer desktops. I think it was a PDP-11. Yeah, okay, yes. <clears throat> so, for some reason, this computer just doesn't work by itself. Right. And uh, they tried, like, they looked into it, they troubleshot everything. Everything looked like it was correct. And then finally, like, no, it's not working. So they have the, uh, I'm probably telling this completely wrong. I'll it, tell you if you are. Yeah, okay. So anyway, it, nothing works with this computer. They install a switch on it that gets marked magic to, and more magic. Okay. In the like magic switch. Yeah, it's, a, it's literally just a light switch. Right. In the magic position, computer doesn't work. Right. If you switch it into the more magic position, the computer boots and everything works fine. Right. Would you like to know what that switch was connected to? What? Nothing. Wait, what? Okay, so, so, so quite literally, what what happened was, is that um, somebody stumbled upon this computer one day and was like, "Why is there this switch on it? What does it do?" And they thought it would be fun to throw the switch. And they did, and the computer just crashed. And so then they had to talk to the guys who were running things. They're like, well, that's why you don't touch the switch. And they told him this whole story, right? And he's like, what? And then, but he's like, but that doesn't make any sense. So they went over there, and they finally, they, they diked it out with, uh, with this pair of cutters. Mm -hmm. And it continued to run. While it was still in the magic position, they cut the thing off. It only had one wire. You never run one wire to a switch. You have to run two wires yeah, to a switch. It, right? Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. There was only one wire running to the switch. But if you threw the switch, it crashed. Wow. Yep. And people say magic isn't real. You know what the real magic there was? Friendship. The money you made along the way. <laughs> <sighs> Ding. The, the money was the... Was your it's there a whole time. The money was inside you all along. <laughs> On the bright side, now that I know that this is gel, your thumb's gonna look amazing. If that were true. Okay, maybe I'm now. Sorry, what? That I would mind thumb all the time. You were like dissing me. No, I'm not you. I'm nice to you. I'm nice to you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? I think we just might not be driving any power to this thing. Oh no! Beach, can you get me my uh, multimeter out of the uh, the bag? Beach, thank you. Hand me my multimeter. Well, things you don't expect you're gonna need, right? Yeah. Like we, this. This is not a. Guess what, kids? This is not the only show we do in this studio. Can you imagine if we had a separate studio for every stream we oh, do? Oh my god, that would be so great. The dream. The dream. We could multicast. Oh we could have God. so many streams at the same time. You could have different loading ready run channels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I'm loading I'm loading ready run one, loading ready run two. What about running ready? There's a loading ready run red and a loading ready run blue. I, I really like the idea. I mean, that's good. That's good. But I like the idea of following the BBC. Because then we can have loading ready run four, which is just radio. Oh, shit. That's the just dream. Podcast over and, and be over. sure to go down to the loading ready run iPlayer. I talk about I talk it in like my my old timey radio man voice. <laughs> Press the red button for more in, for, if you'd like to know more about Tinker Taylor. And yes, as you see, TQ is currently applying the red makeup to the fingernail. The red makeup. So the the, re the red the didgeridoo. Red. As Chat points out, you could do twenty four hour streams all the time, then Ian. Yep, constantly. How'd that go for you, by the way? Really well. Yeah, you not... weren't feeling like completely worn out at no, the end. No, there was a couple points where I was kind of like. Uh, but that was, and that was in the extra time, actually. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, I was, I wouldn't do it again very soon. Right. But I feel like I've still got a few more years left in my life where I could do something like that. That's fair. Yeah. 24-hour streams. Yeah, um, like, I did a, uh, I did a 12-hour stream in February, and, uh, it was, like, I felt like I could definitely, like, 12 hours is, like, Easily doable. Yeah, twelve hours super easy. Um, but yeah, twenty four always just seems like too much for me. And I think it's, I think it's probably a lot to do with when I did them. Yeah, because yeah. I was like 
okay, up at five, do the thing, and then go to bed, go home and go to bed. Yeah, because you, you just like stepped into the office and sat down and booted it yeah. up, basically. And yeah. if it had been actually uh, actually 24 hours, it probably would have been easier. Yeah. But yeah, doing it, starting it at like 6 p.m. would have been just killing me. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Direct, I'm waiting for it to dry. Direct voltage. Let's plug that in. That is plugged in. Okay. Uh, black is usually. Literally, it's watching paint dry. What's the name of your high school crush, Beach? Yeah, Beach. <laughs> oh my goodness! What did you do? Yeah. What? What is? What has happened here? I, just, what happened? I don't know, we're nails. I like talking about high that, school crushes. That took, that, that took a real twist. <laughs> yeah, I ran just. <laughs> That was an that question. That got angry. That seems semi-harmless, and all of a sudden my wife cuts in and I'm like, son of a bitch, something bad's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how I Sorry, dude, it. I threw it in our bus. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'm just gonna keep painting the nails. My high school... I think I fucked my... Sorry. That was... No, no, I think, I think you've still got it. My high school crush... Ben? Yeah. Was Jesus. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> You're not actually plugged in. Wait, what? To the board. <laughs> oh. There we go. That got yanked somehow. Am I just naturally weird? really loud? You're probably coming off of me. Yeah, I could hear you off a TQ, so oh. I can about, about, about the same. You just take that oh, right no, off. This one's clearly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So That's what's up? Interesting. What's up, Chuck? So it looks like um this this thing it. is shorting out. The adapter that I bought. Oh. Don't paint my face. That's where the money comes from. You can paint my hands all you want. Give me like sweet tats, brah. <laughs> Give me a heart. Is that a sweet tat? It's certainly sweet. <laughs> Do you want a skull and crossbones? I don't know. Ian, what was your high school crush's name? Macintosh. Which one? <laughs> yeah. Wait, do we all get to a certain age and realize this like this is a dangerous thing? Yeah. Okay. Why is it a dangerous why thing? Dangerous? Oh, it's not a dangerous. Thing. At um, a certain age, it becomes a dangerous thing, apparently. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Uh, what? Let's see here. There was. You say yours, I'll say mine. Yeah, there was Lisa. There was Christina. There was. Uh, Damn, Horner. Yeah. You made your way around. Horner. Your yeah. I didn't do nothing with any of them. <laughs> Yeah, I thought we were talking about crushes. Yep. I barely even talked to him. <laughs> oh, oh, that's fair. Kind of. <laughs> right, that's true. Wait, what? You should have said high school sweethearts. Oh. Oh. That's a different story. That yeah. That's very story. different. <laughs> if it was crushes, I had a crush on everybody. I have a crush on everybody in this room. Aww. Aww. Five volts. That means that is... Wait, 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 wait. wait. That, if that's ground... And that's 5 volts, and that's 12 volts, that's 3.3. Whenever you make noises like that, Everything's I think you're going to go into the Lion King song. Nah, <laughs> so I know. I was up with Massive Kenya. Mass Mass Massive of Kenya. Kenya, it's a really <laughs> big, big. shakoom. <laughs> So fucking huge. I have to cough. Fucking and it's going to be very loud. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, it'll be less loud. Thank you. God yeah, damn it! What? You're so welcome. Now, now I'm just playing myself some uh, some of that old. Let's just turn on some Disney music up yeah. in here. I want that Mulan yeah, let's, soundtrack. Let's mute the fuck out of this VOD. Yeah. <laughs> just put it in my ears and I'll sing it. Everyone will love that. Make Ben sing it. Ben has a good voice. Let's no, get don't. down to business. Have you heard Ben just sing Happy Birthday? Just to mute the VOD. I mean, these these nerds Copyright have heard me sing for years. Infringements. When I touch your bods. <laughs> <laughs> That's a TOS violation, Ben. And you bet before we're through. Somehow I'll sing Disney songs to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so 
proud Improv of you. group. I'm so proud of you we, guys. We, we get a show in a few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> under a week, so we better get in, in order here. Yeah. Oh god, that's so true. Ian, is the weiss, the loose wire meant to be loose? Oh, you bet. Yeah, all these loose wires are not supposed to be connected. And some of them are supposed some of them are supposed to be shorted as Why don't well. Why don't you just chop them off? Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. At some point I might want to do that. I mean, it just, it straight up might just be I'm that this thing is, is fucked. Mm. They're gonna be so effing shiny. Just because you have acrylic underneath, so... I'd rather be shiny. <laughs> I just burped into my mic, sorry chat. It's alright, Bee just here. <laughs> hey Ian. Yes? Did you want to hear the um, options on the poll? For sure. What should happen to what could happen tonight? Sure. The top one right now Crocodile. is Ian in his exhausted state confuses which nails are meant to be polished and paints every exposed nail head in the moon base. I like um, it. It's followed very closely by, oh, actually, it's exactly on par with Ian has Project Cars flashbacks and runs over Ben. <laughs> I didn't run over any human beings. Why me? <laughs> it's also. The Dreamcast shows up the next day rocking some awesome nail art. Dude, you should totally like paint the Dreamcast. <laughs> yeah, give, it, I, well, give I mean, it some racing stripes. I'll do it. Paul breaks out the Vanta Bay nail it. polish, mm -hmm. making everyone, including the chat, super chill. The spirit of Sierra Adventure Games is still in the moon base, and Ian gets trapped after forgetting to bring the duct tape and moldy cheese with him. Oh, you bricked your. Your point and click adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Ian, just all of him, falls into a vat of nail polish, turning into the beige Joker. Dang. And uh, the nail polish gets a small cut on a hand forever giving. This was a strong taste. Ball? Realist rutabaga taste for tears. What? Wow, that's that's different. This yeah. was a straw pole? Yeah, there's a. So every Tinker Tailor, a straw pole gets put together, generally listing what injuries will happen. Oh. Yeah. I also want to uh, address duck, duck, Dusk Shine for uh, bringing up the Road to El Dorado as one of the best works in a animated theme song uh, soundtrack. Road El Dorado, the magnificent and golden. You can dry now. Best work is like ago. Phil Collins in Brother Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody I'm on my way. That's Tarzan. <laughs> okay, my. Thing I can before. feel it, Tarzan, in the want it air off? tonight. No, I think it's just falling. Tarzan. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I got you. Put it behind my butt. There you go. Thanks, dog. You're welcome. I've been waiting to see Tarzan. Don't do what I'm doing, which is trying to chip the freaking paste off. From my caps. Tarzan. I had to go in and get it fixed. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make that a ringtone. Also Tarzan though. 10 out of 10 soundtrack. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would Tarzan again. Would Tarzan again. I can't believe neither of you... Why don't you do that one? Did these. Why don't you because do that Because my one? nails are fudged right now. I mean in general. You can get your nail unfudged. Unfudge this nail. Cost money. It's fair. Green screen nails. <laughs> is, are these done? I want to know how glow in the dark this is, though. Am I done? Your, yeah, your top coat's just drying. It's done! Hooray! Wow! Oh. Let's go over here. So, uh, towards bit. Just, uh, yeah. yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, to the beach cam. That's some nice looking plaid. Yeah. That is not plaid. I didn't like the plaid. It's too hard to do. Stripey uh. socks. It's neat anyway. Now Thanks very much, friend. That You're welcome. Dark is interesting with the little spots in it. It's kind of weird. Yeah, because it's got sporkles in it. So it's got. It's supposed to look like. I, I guess it's supposed to look like splattered paint, maybe. Yes. Or maybe a, uh, a bug? It's very in this year. Splattered paint look. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's take a quick commercial break here.
do ourselves some commerce, and we will be back after these messages. Don't go, go away. away. I'll be naked. That's, no, you won't. That's patently untrue. Goodbye. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tinker Tailor Soldier Fry here on the Mighty Loading Ready Run <laughs> Video Entertainment Network. My name is Ian. I'm turning on that TV because it should be on. Uh, yeah, we're just back from our break. Uh, <laughs> TQ's been giving people okay. a. I, I keep calling it a nail job. You were manicuring people, right? Mm -hmm. It's a nail job. It's a nail job. Because you nailed it. TQ's been nailing us all after evening Fraser. and. Uh, Phrasing? Phrasing. Okay. Nailing us? And uh, yeah, I've been doing a good job. Yeah, doing no, a great he, job if I'm nailing you. Awesome. <laughs> Spectacular. And so now comes the, uh, the, the hand massage ending. Yes, because you want to make sure that you moisturize, especially so, because hmm. the skin's gotten like kind of dried from sitting out and mm -hmm. chemical and stuff, so. So what's the what's the aftercare for this? What's the uh, the maintenance that Cam's gonna need to do? Ooh, yes. Ooh, he says. Oh, um, essentially, just you did what I asked you to do. You didn't touch them. You were careful, like that kind of thing. So, all right. Um, you're good on that. And then basically, you just do what you regularly do because you're actually my give me the other hand. You're actually my my test dummy for this top coat. You and Ben. Okay. I'm gonna try to stay away from your palm just because I don't want to irritate you. Okay. Um. So yeah, you just live your normal life and do your normal stuff. Will do. And then see how long they last. I and mean, how normal could it be after this? I, if you want them to last the longest, I would say, I mean, don't use like power tools. Okay. But I wouldn't be surprised if like, so when I, when I had my nails capped, I lost these three first mm -hmm. because what keys are these three fingers? Oh, wasty. Yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> so they just chipped right off. Yeah, yeah. Who's Sp your main again? <laughs> Diva and Mercy. Mm. More casualties. <laughs> yeah, going to Q was very difficult. I can imagine, yeah. And I'll give you guys an update on what's been going on here. So this little device that I got, uh, which is the IDE to SATA converter, uh, I didn't realize until I just was plug, uh, playing with the plug that it has a couple LEDs on it. And uh, let's just give a quick explanation here. So you can see the power supply has an LED on it to let you know it's you can, like, rub your turned on. So when we plug in well, the adapter, good. let's awesome. just see if we can focus on the you top go, there. Like Notice we, let's make sure it's plugged in the right way. Yes. Plug it in. You'll notice, yep, you see that flash? Yeah, let me get a look closer. Yeah. That flashes, and then this light is no longer on. Or it goes on and off. Yeah, so we're experiencing a short somewhere in the system. But because this is the only power supply, the 12 and 5 volt power supply I have here, and I don't have a PC that I can plug, uh, just plug everything into, we're kind of at the end of our rope with what we can do on the Dreamcast tonight. I'm just going to take this home and either make it work and then bring it in and, rep and replicate it all for you, but uh, I think we might just be in, in the, the line with the Dreamcast for the moment until we get some more parts or troubleshoot these parts. Uh, yeah, it's going to be, just for those of you who need to know what that means, we'll use a different power supply, see if we can get the light to come on. If that doesn't work, we'll try a proper power supply inside a computer, see if that works when we get the light on, then we just keep moving backwards, changing things out one at a time with known good parts until we uh, get either a working solution or a paint Ian's head, or, or we know that it's not working. We need to find another, uh, we know that this piece of trash, uh, piece of technology is in fact actually trash. So that's uh, where we stand tonight with that. So do you have anything more that you need to do I want to paint your head. You want to paint my head? What are you going to paint on my head? What do you want me to paint on your head? Oh. <laughs> I really feel like we need to mask and like airbrush. Mm hmm. Well, we did that at Desert Bus. Yeah. Yeah. Crix did it with the, uh, the, the, Chat, the cake spray. Chat, what do you want me to paint on his head? Hopefully, not. Work tomorrow? I do have work tomorrow. Oh, so then how that's probably can not. Can you wear a hat at work? No, I can't no. wear a hat at work. That no, way. it would peel can off you... before that. You would take it off before you go to bed. 
Could you paint? Could you grow a full head of hair between now and then? Jeez, actually, you know what? That's. That, I, I don't want to waste your uh, your acrylic paint. But to be honest, there is a uh, argentum flare uh, brings to mind something I've actually been interested in doing is uh, airbender uh, marks. I can put an arrow on your head. Sure, let's do that. I then. can put an arrow on your head. Because wasn't I'm... there one in comic book where Ang Ang was, like met this girl who had like the Airbender oh, yeah. master oh, yeah. tattoos, and she was like, "Oh yeah, I got these because I loved how they look on you." And he's I like, forgot. "Wait, you're not a a bending master." Mm. I, I think or, remembering that his biggest problem with it was was that they uh, they assumed they tried to be. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they were attempting, or, or they were mm. actually culturally appropriating, yeah. as opposed to just cosplaying. Mm. And, mm -hmm. and I think one of the cosplays I'd actually like to do, and I think I could do, was uh, Aang's son. Oh, name oh, I oh uh, Tenzin. Yes, Tenzin. Yeah, yeah. It's like I'm halfway there. God, the I beard, love the, the pointy. The fight between Tenzin and the what were they? The Black Lotus. Oh yes. Where you could tell how angry Tenzin the was because he stopped moving. Yeah. Right? Like, I love that you could tell that from their fighting styles, their kind of emotional state, and ten you could tell Tenzin was pissed because he forgot to move. Yeah. As an airbender, that seems like a bad move. <laughs> so while we're doing that, uh, let's read out, well, let, let's read out our various uh, notify, or not notifiers, supporters in their various ways. Hmm. And I have them here on the laptop for those who might want to get in on it. Let's start with Taru Kai 778 who has subscribed for 29 months in a row. Thank you, Taru Kai. Kavina cheered us with 300 bits, saying yay, nails. Yay. Not sure if you can see those now, Cam? Uh, yes. Nice. Uh, RS25MTG sub for four months, saying four months for my favorite streamers. Also waiting for, uh, waiting for Ben. ben. Shokara, Ra, Shokara Ra has subscribed for 11 months in a row. LRR and nail art. This is, woo, well, something moved. This is the best stream. Uh, the Ghost Puncher resub for the 16th month, saying woo, turning into learn stuff. Dostro. Subscribed for 44 months in a row. Thank you for that support, Dostro. New Brain resub for the seventh month saying, Yay, nail art. Glad to catch this live. Matley35 subscribed for four months in a row saying, First Tinker Taylor stream. Thanks for a great entertainment, guys. Cuttlefishman resub for the sixth month saying, Ian, when I play Team Fortress 2, I would always play the soldier as my prime. Soldier as my prime. Oh, oh, wonderful. Mm. Venus cheered us with 100 bits saying 100 for thanks, Beej. <laughs> Kavanaugh cheered with 100 bits saying, sorry, Ben. <laughs> Fisher cheered us with, a hun with 500 bits saying, Fisher. go for it, Beej. <laughs> Shark Cookies reset for the 13th month saying, uh, 13, month 13 months watching this channel while watching everyone get their nails done in Beach Shell. Hashtag nice. Sharp Cookies subscribed for 13 months in a row saying 13 month watching that, this that, channel. That's the one I just... You did. <laughs> Nailed it. Pusherman555 subscribed for 9 months in a row. I name my sub baby Ben's serious face. Water Beach. Red Raptor cheered with 100 bits saying... Red Raptor. Uh, Bohio 100, the fanciest of nails. Explorer785 subscribed for 4 months in a row saying we've got our thirsty boys and we've got our TQ. This must be another sub month anniversary. <laughs> Cat, Matt, Nat is a brand new subscriber. Welcome to the channel and thank you for supporting us here. Yeah. Gothic Monkey subscribed for 14 months in a row. Thanks, Gothic Monkey. Welcome and, and thank you. And Dark Noct resub er, for the six months saying the Dreamcast must live on. It will live, Dark Noct. Worry not. Those are, and the living. Hold up. Uh, Tiki's wrist. Cam, Sorry. get there for me. Oh, the Living Gale has just subscribed. Welcome to the channel, The Living Gale. Thank you thank for supporting you. us here. And welcome. So that's, wow, that actually looks really good. Yeah. You'd think that I did art for a living. Yeah. Toxic subscribe for six months in a row, almost forgot to press my button. <laughs> nice getting in there under the wire, Toxic. Yeah. You don't think I'm going all the way back, you're wrong. Oh man, okay, we're doing this right. I may just have to... Uh... Go home and not tell Corey? Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, yes! I, was... I like the implication that Corey is not watching. Right? Oh god, she's not watching. <laughs> as far as I can tell, she's not. When you do walk in, 
Have your phone running. Nonchalantly, mm-hmm. just be recording it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So when this peels off, does it peel off all as one thing? No, but it kind of flakes off in that way. So like if, if he goes in the shower and just rubs his head like with soap, it'll come right off. Okay, so if I just soap it up and get that uh, yep. get the shower scrub going. Yep. Gonna... Okay. And I'm cool. doing a really light layer, so. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no, so I... did the Tenzin, you could totally do Tenzin. I was thinking I should really just uh, hire you to do this for me next time I uh, go to a convention. Mm. And that means I've got a few, only a few months left between now and PAX. I think I might have to uh, bump some projects in favor of... Uh, yeah, getting the robes. Well, in favor of, yeah, we're sh- sewing up some robes. And mm-hmm. thankfully, robes are one of the easier things to sew. Yeah. All right. Well, that, I think, does it for today. Unless you have anything else you want to uh, let us know about TQ. Nope, just make sure you moisturize and... <laughs> That's about it. This is generally good advice, isn't yep. it? Yeah. Drink water, moisturize, stretch. So Blend. TQ, where can people find you if they want to see more of your content? Oh. <laughs> well, I, I'm not used to that. Um, <laughs> I stream on Twitch too. I do cool. creative and I play Overwatch and Darkest Dungeons right now. But you can find me on twitch.tv slash slybovyu, S-L-Y-B-O-V-Y-U. And it's Russian, it means with love. So before you ask, because everybody asks. I, you know, I had never asked, and now I know. Yep. Now I'm happy. But that's where you can find me. Great. And, of course, that's going to show up in the chat. You can find that there if you need to know the spellings. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching today on Tinker Taylor, Solder Fry. We'll see you in a fortnight with uh, more of whatever this is. Yes, Paige and I will be right back from, oh, Odafest. So uh, watch for us there. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, uh, we have other shows that we do. Heather, we don't, that's not working, is it? I just saw you in the TV and I was like, yeah, you need the robes. Yeah. No, but I can tell you, New Day Tuesday is expansion for Final Fantasy XIV. Ash is coming into play. That's that. a special okay. one. So That'll be cool. We have yeah. all these friends coming in this I week. Know, it's right? so great. You do yeah, need to moisturize. Though. And on Wednesday, we have uh, that show, Mine O'Clock, where James will be back for that. So he'll, he and Rebellious Uno will continue to mine and continue to clock. Then in the evening, we'll be crossing, crossing the, the streams. streams. Beej is going to make us all play ARMS. Hmm. And that's going to be exciting. I look forward to uh, punching. Thursday is uh, starts with 18 games and counting. That is variable. But then we go into Lure MTG, which is not variable. One is locked at Magic the Gathering. But then Talking Simulator. Yeah, we'll be finishing near Automata. Ooh, that's going to be exciting. Yeah, that I'm really looking forward to seeing how it pans out. Is that going to be the original ending, or is it uh, going to be... Uh, no, this going? is going to be ending E. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's so nice. hopefully it will give us a, a fertile topic of conversation. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm optimistic it will. Friday is, of course, Crap Shot, and then Crossing the Streams is not on Fridays. That's when AFK is. Mm-hmm. And AFK, I don't know if we walked in yet. Uh, um, might be a commander. Yeah, might, yeah, I'm looking be... at a Magic Commander thing, but yeah. I don't With, know if we're locked I'm, in. I'm betting we're going to be locked in for Magic Commander. We have enough people, probably probably, probably with their own decks, too, yeah, for the most their part. Own decks. Which is going to be really, really cool. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, Saturday, good old Adam's going to be back into Yell while the rest of us prepare for Loading Ready Live in the evening, except that I will not be there. So uh, don't watch for that. I want to address this because the chat is going on, on with it. Uh, there will likely be a watch and play or a let's know on Wednesday. We are bad oh, at memorizing right, yes. the schedules. Please check the events page. I'm sure you, James will update that shortly. It's watch and play this week. It is. Watch and play. Good to know. So that's it for us. That's it for what's coming up. Uh, anything else that I'm forgetting, anyone? Read some subs. We already we did, did that while well, we did our hand yeah. massages. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. <laughs> Ever forward. We'll Never see you leave. next time. <laughs>